they also want everyone to be safe, especially after that shooting last year that left three people hurt. So that's why they're making changes to policies for fair goers. So the logic here is about as solid as a wet paper bag. So the State Fair of Texas has decided to ban firearms for everyone except current and retired peace officers. Why, why would anybody do that? Because last year, someone who wasn't supposed to have a gun snuck a gun into the fair and shot three people. You may remember these terrifying moments from last year. When 23-year-old gunman Cameron Turner opened fire at the State Fair of Texas, injuring three. We are devastated that anyone was hurt at the State Fair of Texas. To this day, the State Fair says the gunman was unlicensed and they still don't know how the gun got inside. For that reason, this year will look different. Previously, the State Fair of Texas allowed concealed carry, but now no guns for fairgoers will be allowed except for retired and current peace officers. Based on feedback we've received, based on studies, um, larger events, as, as Jeff mentioned, like the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, the San Antonio Stock Show, as well as Rodeo Austin, they have similar policies in place to ban weapons. And so we feel this is the measure that we need to put in place. After bags are measured and checked, every guest will walk through a weapons detection system just like last year. However, the layout will be completely redesigned to ensure that no one is able to slip by. There will also be additional cameras recording the entrances. We reported back in June that one of the three people shot at the fair last year is suing the suspected gunman and the two possible companies involved in the state fair security, claiming possible failures in surveillance and detection. And instead of asking the hard questions like, how did this guy get past the metal detectors? Or why didn't the security measures we already had in place work? No, they decided the best solution was to disarm all of the law-abiding citizens. Here's the thing, gun-free zones are a joke and not a funny one. Minnesota had a similar idea. They banned guns at their state fair too. And guess what happened? They still had a shooting. Investigators are searching for the gunman who fired a shot inside the state fairgrounds last night. It happened near the entrance of the Midway just after 10 o'clock and sent some fairgoers running as police shut down the grounds. One person is in the hospital. The criminal didn't think, oh no, there's a gun ban. I better leave my gun at home. No, they brought it anyway because, and this might come as a shock to some people, Criminals don't follow laws. That's kind of their thing. So now here in Texas, we are following the same failed blueprint. You had metal detectors, bag checks, and who knows what else last year. And you still don't know how the guy got the gun into the fair. But instead of fixing the real issue, you're doubling down on stupid by making sure the only people with guns at the fair are criminals. Yeah, that's definitely gonna make everyone safer said no one ever. And let's talk about what happens when you create a gun-free zone in a place like the Texas State Fair. The fair is smack dab in the middle of a sketchy area. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. So now, not only can you not carry at the fair, but every criminal in the area knows that too. That walk from the parking lot just got a whole lot more dangerous. And even if you're not carrying at the State Fair, guess what? The bad guys know that there's a good chance you've left your gun in your car, making the parking lot a treasure trove for gun thieves. Congratulations. But thankfully, there are still politicians in Texas with some damn sense. Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton says he will sue the city of Dallas if the State Fair of Texas does not get rid of its new gun ban. Officials will not allow guns of any kind on the fairgrounds, including concealed carry when the doors open next month. The fair changed the policy after a shooting last year that wounded three people. Paxton is giving the city of Dallas 15 days to quote fix the issue. Tonight, Dallas city leaders say they're reviewing Paxton's request and will respond accordingly. The State Fair of Texas said they're ready to cooperate as needed. As far as I'm concerned, this is all part of a bigger plan. The anti-gun lobby has been trying to turn Texas purple for years. These anti-gun groups are trying to chip away at Texas's gun culture because they know if they can turn Texas, they can turn anywhere. And if we're not careful, they could actually succeed. So yeah, if this policy still stands, count me out of this year's State Fair of Texas. I've got better things to do than play sitting duck in a so-called gun-free zone. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. 
This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.